Hello everyone, in this video I am installing UPS's uninterruptible power supplies for our uh, network gear. Right here we have two IDF closets, or we call them uh, comm rooms, they connect to our data center. And these closets just connect um, our computer labs and our office workstations. They all come in here for two different floors. So unfortunately we weren't able to uh, get the UPS's sooner so we had our switches connected directly to the wall with the uh, power bars <clears throat> Sorry. so right now I install the UPS's, just the first UPS I'll do this after because we need uh, power backup for our equipment and we need to protect our equipment from power surges as well so right here I have the UPS system it fits uh, two batteries and then a battery pack uh, that will uh, fit four batteries and then this transformer module this will uh, convert the input to the right output that will the switches uh, will be able to connect to that one I'll show you in the back Switches will connect here. It will convert the high voltage to um, like lower voltage that switches will be able uh, to be powered up with this one. And then the, this is the battery pack. It will connect right here. I can take out this slot and we'll connect this to the UPS system. And the transformer module as well will connect right here to the UPS. So I'm going to insert the batteries. The batteries are really heavy and I wouldn't be able to carry this and drag them if the batteries are inside. So I will uh, insert the batteries right now. Okay, so I inserted the two batteries here and the four batteries. I'll put the cover. Okay, and here from the back I removed this slot and I can connect the battery module connected the transformer module and then this is the UPS will connect to our uh, power supply here okay so I dropped this cable down the rack electricians left it on top of the rack so now it is ready to be powered up and uh, after that I will uh, connect it there's a built-in network interface card I'll connect our switches and configure it. Configure the port on the VLAN we are using for these UPSs. And I'll be able, when I get a MAC address, I will be able to go to the web interface of this UPS and set the admin password, all that stuff. And this is the fun port here and there I got it now we are ready to power it up here we do some basic configuration um, advanced because we are we're IT professionals Setting eight. Okay. Now when I connect it, I can do all this firmware update and um, all that stuff. And this is it. I'm ready to put back the rack doors and install this in the afternoon thank you guys for watching